hello guys welcome back to good show tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix the controller or gamepad is not working or controller is having issue on persona 5 royal pc when you're trying to launch the game and how we can fix this up so let's dive into it so uh, try these steps because this is going to work out so before waste i'm not wasting much time let me directly get into the point so the first one when you're having the trouble if you're on uh, steam or whatever it may be all you have to do is when you're having this trouble you just have to uh, close the game that means you have to completely close the game close the steam and whatever it may be then wait for around uh, you know one minute then try to launch it back once again that means if you're on the steam just open the steam then try to launch the game and that might be working out that is what you have to do Going to the next one, even after trying this, if it's not working, then we just have to move to the next one. That is all about you have to do is you just have to restart your PC. You have to do a restart on your PC because by doing a simple restart, that might be working out. If it's not working, we have third solution. Third one is all about you have to enable Steam input. Okay, so I just have to open this. To, I have to open the Steam and this is how it looks like. Now what I have to do is I just have to go over here at the top. So I wanted to input, enable Steam input, right? So I have to go to the library. So here as you can see, I don't have the game. So I'm having the game on another platform. So uh, I don't have the game. I play with usually with Steam on my PC because I most probably spend time on PS5, PS5 and Xbox. So uh, I don't have the game, but I'll be showing you what you have to do with another example. So don't get uh, confused. I'm extremely sorry and I apologize for that, this inconvenience. So let me show with you Forza Horizon 5. So you have to select the personal, uh, you have to select the Persona 5 Royal on your, on your Steam library, right? Like this, okay? I'll we'll just have to right click and navigate to properties. Now from here, you just have to go to the controller. And as you can see, there as you can see this is disabled steam input this is by default what do you have to do? You just have to change this to enable steam input okay after changing this into enable steam input it has been set into for everything playstation nintendo generic controller steam remote etc so uh, what do you have just try to launch the game that might be working in most of the cases in my opinion and if it's not working just change if it's not working that that will not be happening i rarely i have seen some comments on reddit so you just have to change it to disable steam input if it's for the first time you're having the error make sure you're on the enable steam input and even after trying with enabled steam input when you're trying to launch the game you're having the error just change it to disable steam input and this is what you have to do so moving to the next one is all about after trying this if it's still not working we have to move to the next one that is all about you have to configure the controller for that you just have to open the steam itself so this is our store now from here in the store you just have to do is just have to go over here at the top steam navigate to settings now from here go to controller and from here there is an option called general control setting tap on it and now from here what you have just click on continue and you will be getting an option like this as you can see uh, right now i have been set into uh, this one so in most cases in your cases that might be something else like you know if you're on playstation check playstation if you're on xbox check this if you're whatever it may be you have to do accordingly so here i have keeping for the combined pairs of joy controllers that is for me generic gamepad if you're having the gamepad but here you can set either to playstation if you're on playstation or if it's not on if you're on xbox just set this for xbox and this is what you have to do so from here you have to select and after selecting you just have to close this and go back and try to launch the game yeah, it will be good to go and there will not be any kind of issue even after trying this if it's still not working the next is you have to unplug all the external devices like if you're on the multiple monitors i suggest you have to unplug it if you're on the unwanted usb joystick everything is converted whatever it may be just unplug it because this has worked for many uses i don't know why this is happening but unplugging all the things that helped them just launch the game then if you're on joystick just connect it back after launch the game is working fine okay in between you just have to unplug it and also move to the next one is all about you have to launch the steam or the game in big picture mode for that you just have to go over here and as you can see over here in the steam we'll be having big picture mode as you can see just click on big picture mode and go for continue so right now you're on the big picture mode so get into the big picture mode and directly navigate to library so you will be having the games like here you will be having the games 
so in your case you will be having the uh, uh, persona 5 royal so you just have to launch the game from here and uh, that might be working out but even after trying or launching the game if it's still not working so you are having the trouble then you just have to do is you just have to ex after launching you can do this up and if you wanted to exit just click over here and uh, exit big picture mode so you are be having the steam and you'll be in the steam and also after trying this if it's still not working that means launching the game in the big picture mode is not working then why have one more solution which you have to try out that is all about you have to do is just have to launch the game in big picture mode and try its steam input input uh, the game settings and change it to force it on or force it off so i'll show you what you have to do just go over here at the top okay so uh, we are having big picture mode just click over here and go for continue now as you can see you are again in the big picture mode right so what you have to do is you just have to click over here in the library now as we said earlier i don't have persona 5 royale so on my pc so i mean on the steam so i'm playing it in xbox so what i suggest you is you just have to imagine that this is the game okay you have to imagine this is the game so just click over here now if you click like this on the persona 5 royale on your case you have to click on manage game then there is an option called controller option just click on this one and as you can see the steam input per game settings is being set into force it off so if it is forced on off you just have to change it to force it on go for ok and try to launch the game and see whether they, that's gonna fix if it's not if it is already on the force it on then just change it to force it off go for ok then try to launch the game and most probably after launching the game like this the issue has to be fixed for many of the users so these are the basic trouble out or the basic step which you have to do when you are having this issue on uh, the game uh, persona 5 royale and how you can fix this up and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye